Honestly, I should be dead. I've almost died twice. In fact, the first time was at age 20, and I actually was clinically dead for six minutes. Driving home from work, I was hit head on by a drunk driver at 70 miles an hour. Another car hit me in the door of my car after the drunk driver hit me. Instantly, I broke 11 bones and began to bleed to death. Uh, after an hour, the fire department cut me out of the car with the jaws of life, and my heart stopped beating. And I was clinically dead for six minutes. I was rushed to the hospital on a helicopter, and I was revived on the helicopter. I was in a coma for six days. And when I woke up from the coma, I was told by doctors I would never walk again. I had 11 broken bones and permanent brain damage. And I just had this faith, this unwavering faith that I was going to walk again to the point where the doctors thought I was in denial, they thought I was delusional. They kept telling my parents, you need to get his expectations in order. He's probably never going to walk again. And I just kept telling my dad, look dad, I believe, I have faith, I'm going to walk again and I'm gonna maintain that faith until I'm proven otherwise. And a week after I came out of the coma, the doctors came in with routine x-rays and they said, we don't know how to explain this, but your body is healing so quickly. We're gonna let you take your first step today. And I went on to walk and eventually, you know, run an ultra marathon and the rest is kind of history. And then two years ago, I woke up one night, couldn't breathe. And after a series of tests, it was discovered that I had a very rare form of cancer, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And I have a wife whom I adore and I have two babies, uh, two, two children who at the time were seven. My daughter was seven and my son was four. And I had more to lose than ever before and I was terrified. But at the same time, I was committed to beating the cancer. And I looked back over my life and I remember a car accident and I thought, I defied the odds because I maintained unwavering faith that I could walk again and that I would walk again. And so I decided I'm gonna use the same mindset and maintain unwavering faith that I can beat this cancer. I did everything from taking 70 supplements a day. I did all the chemotherapy that I had to do, but beyond that, I did acupuncture. I did ozone therapy. I did coffee enemas, and I'll tell you, there is no effort more extraordinary than sticking a tube in your butt. Damn! And I'm grateful to say that the doctors, once again, were blown away at how my body responded and how quickly I healed. And I'm very grateful to say that I've been cancer free. I've been in remission for over a year. All of it was because I made and maintained two decisions. Every prolific achiever, creator, innovator, athlete, world champion, all of them maintained those two decisions. They maintained unwavering faith that they could do things they had never done before. And they put forth extraordinary effort. And I truly believe that anyone can move their goals from being possible to probable, to inevitable with those two decisions, unwavering faith and extraordinary effort.